guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and welcome so i wanted to show you guys something um i have to go to new jersey tonight for the week past the scene of the crime of the accident all the other fun stuff well um i wanted to show you some um ghetto ass shit um that i'm discovering with this car um as far as what the previous owner did. Now, obviously you guys know about um, the radio and things like that. Um, I can't use this radio at all. Um, whoever owned this car before, they took the SD card, um, can't pair my phone to this. So I think I'm just gonna get a stock radio and just put the stock radio in unless you guys have a suggestion on what I should use. Um, what else? Um, oh. Yeah, there's also, yeah, this he painted, he or she painted black. I don't know what the drill holes are for. Um, oh, well, not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it. But I found something else, which is going to require this drill bit that I went and got from Home Depot. It's to drill out the bolt um, that is, that broke off. In the t on the turbo um, you guys will see that right now let me just pop the oh I already did um, but yeah it's some ghetto ass shit not the fact that the bolt broke it's just what I found which was kind of funny um, yes as we pop the hood and my neighbors trying to play basketball all right so now flip this around um all right so as you guys can see there, let me see if I can expand that. All right, so using the drill bit here, um, as you guys can see, this gasket here, which is not the stock gasket. Well, if you look right here, see all that space right there? Now the bolt is broken right here. Or right, yeah, right, yep, down here, excuse me. The bolt's broken down here, but there's that space right there huge exhaust leak huge um to the point where i even these this bolt was tight but the one below it down here was a little loose so i tightened it thinking it would tighten up here but no that did not work so i'm gonna be forced to drill that out well obviously i need to drill it out anyway and i know you guys are gonna say well, you have the other turbo that's going to be going in, but obviously not on here and not for not for a little bit. Um, so I just want to I'm going to drill that bolt out just to drill it out just so I don't hear the whining sound of the turbo like it's over spooling or whatever it does because of the big ass exhaust leak. So um, I'm going to take care of that. My recommendation though, it, when you're doing the exhaust, especially for these cars, um, there's a stock metal gasket that goes in between the exhaust and the turbo. Keep it, it still works. Um, if you, especially if you're using the stock turbo. It's perfectly fine, just make sure all your bolts are there. Um, it will seat better than that. Um, and you know, you just go from there, but that is just some ghetto ass shit. Um, so remember, ghetto ass shit, don't do that. Um, oh, let me show you the other ghetto ass shit stuff, um, that they did. I think I showed you guys this before. Yes, this requires getting on the ground and crawling up the butt of the Genesis. Okay, so, uh, be very careful here. So, you guys see that strap there? So that's what they used to strap up this exhaust. Now, this right here, here's the stock mount. Why they didn't use this? Oh, because it's too short, that's why. Or they just, no, it's not actually. They were just too lazy to actually use that. But if you guys look on the other side, sorry. Oh, so they did it here too. I can't even see what I'm looking at here. So anyway, they did it here as well. And here's the strap somewhere right here and as you can see the bolt broke um this is the ghetto ass shit i had to do to keep this up or else it was going to fall down um so don't laugh at me um i had to do it um 
let's see what else here. So, uh, yeah, again, I had to do this because this was hanging way down here. So, um, yeah, I mean, as you guys can see under the car, it's under the car. You got your teen springs right there. Um, so I've got work to do. I don't know. That's my, oops, sorry. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and maybe I still haven't taken the green out of the car yet. Um, I still plan on it. I'm just being really, really, really lazy. Um, I took it by the shop and they said that, uh, <laughs> Richard asked if that was a putting green. <sighs> yeah, I'm Tiger Woods before he got his ass whooped by his wife. Um, so yeah. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys too was, um, this right here, I know you guys are like, wait, that's ghetto. Well, no, this right here, you know how the space is right here? Well, this has helped actually, and believe it or not, the water has not gone down into the light, A, and B, most of you guys know when you have this issue, um, you have a, usually have a water line that goes right across here. Once I did this, and after a couple days, this actually, um, all, all the water evaporated, and it's rained, and the water hasn't actually gone back in into the light, which is good. Obviously, I'm still going to replace this, though, because you can see what the, the water damage did, obviously. So, the lights are going to be, the taillights are going to be replaced at some point. So, um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Oh, wait, you guys, oh, yeah. Look, what, look, look at this. Look, look, look at the sexiness of these wheels. Damn, I did such a great job. I do have to pat my back. You guys have been very cool. You guys have said you love the wheels and things like that. Um, so I'm going to just tell you, the wheel color is actually something that a lot of people didn't ex wouldn't expect, but it is the Hyundai wheel color, I mean the, the Hyundai wheel color, it's the Hyundai color of my Genesis Coupe, the black one. The code is NBA, that's right, National Basketball Association, or NBA. Um, that's the, that's the code color, um, if you guys want to try it, it actually looks good, especially once the sun hit, hits it because you saw the metallic and things like that so let me know what you guys think um hopefully that helped um and then the other thing is too is make sure you get um and you can get it from like pet boys or anywhere else make sure you get a, a clear coat and um once you've sprayed the wheels and things like that no matter how many coats put put a couple of clears a clear coat on it so that way you know because obviously rocks may hit it and things like that and you don't want it to chip so um this is all I wanted to do was show you guys the ghetto ash it and the um, obviously the stuff I'm going to have to need, need to fix and things like that. Um, thanks to the previous owner. This just means more content. So um, until next time, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I will be putting out videos um, while I'm in New Jersey, hopefully. Um, I do have the wheel painting one. That one. I will actually put out tomorrow so look out for that so um until next time like share comment subscribe say hello keep commenting thank you guys for continuing to come back and support me and things like that you guys are all awesome even if you haven't hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button so anyway until next time make no limitation your only limitation peace